what's good y'all it's your boy ross back here again with another video so we're going to check out the worst entrance in every wwe royal rumble man this should be an interesting one once again royal rumble it's right around the corner so you know we're going to be checking out a lot of royal rumble related videos so stay tuned to that man uh i'm looking forward to seeing what happens in this year's royal rumble and who will potentially be the worst entrance of this year's royal rumble but uh i'm i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how things play out uh, and uh hopefully we can see some great returns maybe some surprise uh some prize entrances uh and uh it should be a good one but let's get right into this one uh i am still your undisputed uh youtube wrestling champ of the world just had to put that out there for anyone who may have forgot that i am still the champ and uh let's get right into this video man so many bloody people have been in the royal rumble all right not all of them can be good. What makes a Royal Rumble competitor bad? Is it a lack of impact? Shortest time in the match? No one knowing who the hell you are? General rubbishness? It. I mean, sure, all of those. And there are 30 goddamn five entries on this list. So that's all the intro you're getting. Shut up. I'm Adam the Past <laughs> Unknown. And here's the worst entrant from every Royal Rumble. Ooh. So help me God. Also, Damn. check out all the Rumble content we're doing on the channel. That's this a month. lot of... There's, there's a lot of it. That's a lot the of... Rumble's the Rumble's best time of the year. At least it should be. 1988, Boris Sukov. Only 20 men wrestled in the first ever Royal Rumble, oh. but they still found space for Boris Sukov, the big Russian egg, one half of notably sh tag team the Bolsheviks. And when you're the rubbish one in a team with Nikolai Volkov, you need to have a long, hard think. 1989, Damn. Coco Beware. Every day I remember that Coco Beware is a WWE Hall of Famer. The name. Every day I drink. Coco had a terrible time in the 1989 Rumble, being eliminated after less than two minutes by Hulk Hogan, and people don't even remember it for being a comedy quick elimination, because the Warlord's second elimination happened that same year. Sorry, Coco. Fly away now. 1990, Shawn name? Michaels. Not every year can be 1995, and normally that's a good thing. Not for tiny young Shawn Michaels, though, getting cock waffled out of the rumble in 12 seconds. By Damn! The Warrior. Marty Jannetty, on the other hand, lasted 1 minute 35 seconds, almost eight times as long. So I guess we know who the better rocker truly was. 1991, Randy Savage. He didn't fing show up. That's why it was an angle that Ultimate Warrior had scared uh -huh. Randy so much that he went home and no-showed the Rumble. And sure, you can argue that that had more actual storyline impact on the Rumble than, say, I don't know, Saba Simba, but at least he turned up for work. 1992, Skinner. Who the fuck is Skinner, though? In one yeah. of the all-time great Rumbles, which featured a bunch of memorable characters, Floridian Gator Beta Skinner sticks out like a what smelly the hell? thumb. He lasted two minutes before being hooped out by Rick Martel. Insert gif of Superintendent Chalmers. 1993, Terry Taylor, a.k.a. Terry's second run in WWF after his first gimmick, The Red Rooster, flopped as Bro. hard as you'd expect from a man. The Red Rooster, that's just boy <laughs> the red rooster that was a real thing y'all we've checked out uh i forgot what video it was comment down below if y'all remember what video it was where we checked out uh um i think it was like gimmicks like pretty bad gimmicks i don't know it could have been on the main channel like pretty cringe gimmicks and i remember the red rooster being one of those things where i was like that was the thing that was a real gimmick that was the thing. <laughs> I'm pretending to be a fucking chicken. However, you could argue that chicken is a better gimmick than some dude, especially some dude who's chimneyed out of the rumble in less than 30 seconds. Damn. 1994, Bastion Booger. Look, I, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about Bastion uh -oh, Booger, I... whose entire gimmick was just the word yuck scratched yeah. into a weak old ham. He no showed the 1994 rumble, apparently because he made himself kayfabe sick from overeating. Delightful. 1995, Disgusting. Timothy Well. No, but who is that, though? Apparently, he was part of a tag team with Stephen Dunn, and they were called Well Dunn. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Timothy Well lasted 23 seconds in the 1995 Well Rumble. done. Dunn, on the other hand, lasted five minutes. Oh, well, well. Well done, Dunn. 1996, the squat teamers. Stop making up wrestlers, Wikipedia. There's absolutely no way that there was a tag team called the squat teamers. Both men entered back to back in the 96 Rumble numbers 15 and 16 and collectively spent a total of one minute and 35 seconds in the Rumble. What? Thanks for fucking coming. 1997, fake Razor Ramon. Well, we were still doing the whole fake Razor and fake Diesel thing in 1997 then. Alrighty, 
Fake Diesel, aka the man who'd become Kane a few months later, got over 15 minutes in this rumble. Fake Razor, who That's did not wild. go to become Kane, got 17 seconds. Again, very cool. 1998, <laughs> Tom Brandy. Who the f is Tom Brandy? 1999, <laughs> Golga. I he didn't even go into it. He just said, Who the f is Tom Brandy? <laughs> These are a whole bunch of JAGs. If you don't know what JAGs are, just another guy. JAGs. This is what they are, man. Uh, yeah. This is what this video is just all about. JAGs. <laughs> This is a bad rumble, with the interesting Austin McMahon stuff mostly happening outside the ring. There's now but mid-carders in this year's rumble, so picking between this lot is a nightmare. Gilberg's in it for the least time, I suppose, but that's a comedy spot. And yeah. It kind of make me laugh. Golga just turns up, is bad, and is bollocks out of the match in about 15 seconds. I guess they didn't respect his authority. 2000, Marsh. Wait, Marsh who was turns it? turns up. Thrasher doesn't. I guess what was the person name? Comedy spot. I, I missed it. Bad rumble with the interesting Golga. I Golga, what the fuck? Turns up. Authorita. 2000. Marsh. Marsh turns up. Thrasher doesn't at any point. Not the other headbanger. Marsh then goes away after <laughs> making no impact in three minutes. And also he wears giant furry tits to the ring, which is unforgivable. 2001, Taz. What a difference a year makes from choking out Kurt Angle in his debut at the uh -huh. 2000 Royal Rumble to running down to the ring, being picked up and plopped on the turnbuckle by Kane like he's five years old and being disciplined by mother, and then punched out of the ring in 10 seconds. Abject humiliation. Why, why do they do that? 2002, that was Farouk. Cold. A very good Royal Rumble, mostly full of good mid-carders that are mostly all used in favor of one spot or the other. Even Chucky mm -hmm. gets the fun of being eliminated by Austin twice. Farouk just shows up and is kill hauled in 30 seconds by Triple H <laughs> so he and Austin can focus on more important matters. It was a hard choice. Sorry, Farouk. Damn. Um, you know, <laughs> damn. 2003, Bill DeMott. Oh, good. Huge erection made it into a Royal Rumble, looking like if Colt Cabana joined the Third Street Saints. <laughs> along now, Bill. 2004, Spike Dudley. You know which Royal Rumble spot I hate? The, oh, no, I was attacked on the ramp, uh -huh. and now for some reason I'm not in the Royal Rumble anymore. F*** that. In 2001, Austin was murdered by Triple H outside and still got to compete. No excuses. Spike takes a weak-looking chokeslam from Kane on the ramp yep. and disappears forever. Poor Spike. 2005, Scotty Too Hotty. They did it again! <laughs> Mohamed Hassan was eliminated and got his heat back by throwing a few punches to Scotty Too Hotty, who then vanishes in a puff of smoke. Humph. Also, Kenzo Suzuki was in this rumble. And who is that? 2006, Jonathan Coachman. Oh, good. The coach gets to be in a Royal Rumble for 20 seconds. Terrific. Always a sign of a strong rumble when you can waste a spot on an announcer. However, yeah. unlike Jerry Lawler's turn in 1997 that at least got a laugh, this has felt like an awkward waste of time. 2007, The Sandman, a.k.a. the only rumble where ECW actually still felt like a viable brand. Most ECW guys got something to do, including the all-time great elimination of Sabu through the table. Mm -hmm. Sandman gets nothing to do. Turns up to not Metallica, hits three people with a cane, and then is bounced <laughs> out by Booker T in 15 seconds. Heck of a way to treat one of the top guys on your new show, WWE. 2008, Finley. What kind of Doyle manages to get DQ'd in the f***ing <laughs> Royal Rumble? We just <laughs> checked out a video <laughs> of Finley and that goddamn shillelagh. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> that this is on his list as one of the worst. <laughs> Was it because he arrived early? Al Snow did that in 2001. Or what, he used a weapon, did he? Everyone did that in 2001. Lazy, <laughs> contradictory booking. Ah, that can f*** off. 2009, the Brian Kendrick. Fuck off, Brian Kendrick. 2010, JTG. <laughs> this is a hard one. It's another really good rumble with very few dud moments. Guess I'll go for JTG, just because he's eliminated super quick by CM Punk during his whole Sermon on the Mount thing, but also because he was silly enough to do a stand on the turnbuckle and punch spot. It's a really good way to get eliminated, JT Genius. 2011, <laughs> Tyler Rex. Who is that? 2012, yeah, don't Primo that and is. Epico. Always nice when your current WWE Tag Team Champions, you know, aka the pinnacle of tag team wrestling in your company, get between them two combined minutes in the Royal Rumble. Fab stuff. Announces Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole got more total time in the 2012 Royal Rumble than the f***ing tag champs. That's 2013, 3MB. All of them are in it, and all of them did bugger all. 
they didn't even do the spot where all of them would be in it at the same time. What was what's the point? He slated did the best of the three, lasting over 10 minutes, and neither Drew or Jinder lasted over three minutes in the match, and those two went on to become WWE champions. Which is crazy. It's a hell of a timeline. 2014, yeah. corporate Kane. F off worst version of Kane. And take your shiny work shoes with you. 2015, Titus O'Neil. That feeling when your one job is to run down and be the immediately eliminated guy for that year, but you step too far forward and you mess <laughs> up the spot. Oh, Titus, rumbles aren't your friend. 2016, <laughs> Jack Swagger. Ah, former world champion Jack Swagger, turning up in the 2016 Royal Rumble to be immediately munched and eliminated by Brock Lesnar, <laughs> tossed over the ropes like a sack of xenophobic spuds. 2017, <laughs> Apollo Crews. Poor Apollo Crews, debuting on the main roster in 2016 with the scintillating gimmick of is here. In the 2017 <laughs> Royal Rumble, Apollo Crews is here for five minutes, doing nothing of consequence, no eliminations, no, no spots, sweet FA, and then boozled out of the ring. 2018 men's Dolph Ziggler. This one's personal. See, everyone wanted Nakamura to win the 2018 Rumble, mm -hmm. but for some reason, there was a persistent rumor online that Dolph Ziggler was going to win it instead. So when he showed up at number 30, everyone got very anxious indeed. And that's all he did. He turned up, made everyone briefly sad, eliminated Gold Dust, and then got eliminated by Finn Balor all in two minutes. <laughs> Cheers, Dolph. 2018 Women's Kelly Kelly. The first Women's Royal Rumble had a stiff task. Make a 30-woman rumble from a roster of about 20. Thankfully, yeah. WWE had a number of legends on speed dial they could call in mm -hmm. to bolster the numbers like Trish, Lita, Molly Holly, and yep. Kelly Kelly, emblem of the Divas era, who turned up to not run the ropes, not hit her move, and then hang around for five minutes and then go away. The greatest <laughs> Royal Rumble, Dan Mather. Who is that? 2019 oh, women's no. <laughs> Alicia Fox and Maria Kanellis. I keep watching the bit with the hat back and I still, for the fucking goddamn life of me, cannot understand what it was. Alicia Fox had a hat, Maria had the hat, Maria hit the hat, which didn't break. Alicia Fox then glitched all as people watched on like, what the f was that? What was the stuff with the hat? 2019 men's Bobby Lashley. The man who would two years later beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title at the Rumble turned up and got eliminated in 18 seconds. Also, yeah. he could hurt Seth on the outside, then sulkily walk away. He, he's had better years, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 2020 women's Santina Morella. Fuck off, Santina. Bull ass. Bucks. 2020 men's Cringe, Matt Riddle. Bro. Matt Riddle made Brock Lesnar cross before the 2020 Royal Rumble by saying he could deck him in that. As punishment, Matt Riddle appeared in the Rumble and was made to look like a proper Melvin. He kicked some people, never shared the ring with Lesnar, and was eliminated by Baron Corbin, of all people, mm -hmm. in 40 seconds. Don't make Brock Lesnar cross, I suppose. 2021 women's Santana Garrett. Who is that? 2021 men's nope. The Hurricane. It was funny when you came back in 2018, Mr. Hurricane. You tried to choke slam John Cena and how we laughed. We slapped our thighs, our ribs sufficiently tickled, our nostalgia brain centers throbbing. Mm -hmm. and they did it again in 2021. And we said, oh, hello. Again? Yeah. <laughs> 2022 <laughs> women's <laughs> Kelly Kelly. Go away. 2022 <laughs> men's Shane McMahon. Oh, yeah. One of the only air. I knew Shane McMahon was definitely, he had to be on this list. I knew he had to. Quote, surprises of the men's Royal Rumble in 2022 with Shane McMahon arriving, looking like a serious thumb, eliminating Kevin Owens, and then sweating all over the ring until Brock could throw him out, shortly followed by his dad, throwing him out of the company's succession style, due in no small part to how Shane had helped put together the deeply sh rumble backstage. What an impact. And that's our list. Who do you think is the worst entrant in Royal? That was funny, man. That was a good one. A lot of JAGs, man. Just, just another guy. There was a few of them, and he, he, he was like, "Who, who, who is this person? Does anybody know who he is? Who is this guy? Does anybody know who the fuck this guy was?" <laughs> but nah, this was this was definitely. Definitely entertaining, man. Definitely enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all think there's going to be some JAGs in this year's Royal Rumble? I don't think there will be. I think there's going to be people that we've even seen before or um, or maybe like some legends and stuff like that. I think this year I have high hopes for it to be pretty good when it comes to talent that's in the actual Royal Rumble. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a, a whole bunch of JAGs out there. I would hope not. 
hope we get some people that make sense to be in the Royal Rumble to fill it out properly and uh, hopefully we have a good time so comment down below let me know do you think there's going to be some JAGs in this year's Royal Rumble also I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me road to 150k see y'all next time peace